Now let's take a look at this figure 22-17 that deals with determining the largest motor load in the column 4 in accordance with 220.50. Now if you, uh, if you stayed with us uh, with these calculations, we have columns 1, 2, 3, and 4 where these loads are, uh, uh, you know, uh, put in these columns so that you keep your load straight. Now, uh, 220.50 and, and, you know, you could also put up here 220.14c. And basically, Article 220 is just telling the user when it comes to motors, in most all cases, you got to go over to Article 430 to determine uh, the calculation percentages that you would use. Now, also, Table 220.3 would, uh, would send you over to Article 430, and really it'd be Part 2. And we could select now from the list of motors on page 22-14 uh, of Stalkup's uh, uh, Electrical Design Book or Designing Electrical Systems, Volume 2. Now, notice uh, card and plug connected or hardwired. And 43109F is giving you your rating. Uh, and so forth if you disconnect and location and 43102B gives you the exact location and then your pump motor is a 5 horsepower 230 volt single phase so uh, we're going to go to 430.24 and notice to get the uh, full load current rating of this motor table 430.248 now, you would want to reference 430.6A1, and it would refer you to Table 430.248 to select the full load current rating of single-phase motors. So that 5 horse would be 28 amps listed in that table. Note 2, uh, again, 220.50 as well as 220.14C. Motors were so important to let you know you had to get out of Article 220 to do your uh, calculation. When I say do your calculation, select your percentages to use. So 430.22 for a single motor, 430.24 with two or more motors, or two or more motors with other loads. And we take 25% of this largest motor, which was uh, 28 amps, which we would select there on page 22-14 from that list. And when we do the math, 25% of 28, we come up with 7 amps. To convert that now to VA, we take 240 volts, single-phase motor, times 7 amps, we come up with 1,680 VA. So basically speaking then, the... Uh, Load 6 and column 4 is 1,680 VA. Now, I think this is the first time I've mainly talked about the columns, but you have loads that are outlined in columns 1 through 4 that we've been calculating. And this figure 22-17 is simply illustrating the calculation and selection of the largest motor load in accordance with 220.50 as well as 220.14c as in car.